Welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're talking about three easy ways to make biodiesel. Firstly, you need to get yourself some waste vegetable oil. As we've got lots of restaurant customers, we have access to ridiculous amounts. And next you're going to want to get yourself some sort of setup like this. Real basic setup is all you need. Basically two filter bags we have here, but one will do. These are 10 micron filters. Pour your waste oil in there. As you can see, it catches the big debris. Then we're collecting it in this tub here using a small aquarium pump. And then we've got a water filter with a one micron filter in there. And then the oil gets pushed through that into a collection jar. And then you'll end up with your crystal clear waste veg oil. And then once you've got that, the sort of three easy methods to turn that veg oil into something more than just the veg oil itself. Now, if you know anything about using veg oil in a car, the, pretty much the problem with using it is not that it's a different fuel, so to speak. It's the fact that it's so much more viscous, so it's much thicker liquid. And now the problem with it being thicker is that the injectors usually atomize the fuel when they throw them into the combustion chamber but if it's a bit thicker it sort of sprays them in which then obviously causes you not to burn the fuel efficiently and it'll also leave a residue inside your engine as well as eventually might knacker your fuel injectors your fuel pump potentially even your fuel filter so the aim of the game is to use some sort of solvent to make the veg oil thinner now your most talked about method on the internet using methanol to mix in your veg oil to thin it out which granted tried and tested method if you're in a warmer country you can sort of do this without any kind of additional heating but most places though it's going to require some sort of reaction vessel to actually perform the uh, esterification it's called with the methanol and the veg oil and then that's also going to uh, leave you with a waste product of glycerol to take out of the oil and from what I've read, you need to mix roughly an 8 to 1 ratio of methanol and then you're only going to get a 90% return or 80% more than likely if you're not using a reactor vessel of biodiesel. I don't know about you, and that's all a lot of faff for me. So these next two ways, by far the simpler and uh, yeah, the cheaper. Now they work out cheaper due to the actual amounts of stuff you need to add in them. I'd we'll say it's an 8 to 1 ratio, so for every 100 litres it's roughly 12 litres or so of methanol you need to put into the veg oil. And then you're going to lose a good percentage of that too. So in effect you're chucking expensive material of methanol in there to end up wasting some. Now this method is just mixing yourself normal diesel or red diesel as we have here with your uh, veg oil in a 50-50 ratio. And that is what we have in here. We've got 50% used veg oil that we've put through our filtering process and then we've put in 50% red diesel. And with that 50% red diesel in there, we've dropped the viscosity, the thickness of the veg oil down to a sufficient level that the fuel injectors will spray this out in an atomized vapor the way it's meant to be run through the engine. And yeah, this way we don't end up with any waste product in the form of glycerol or goes through the engine fine got under half a tank left so I'll just put one of those veg oil mixes in now as you can see super thin liquid put veg oil through a little funnel like this it'll be building right back up to the top it wouldn't be flowing through fast enough fortuitous timing generator's just come on it's been a mostly cloudy day today although of sun over there now in the setting sun so yeah as you can hear generator works perfectly on a 50 50 mix of veg oil and diesel the only real difference we've noticed so far is we get a bit of a pleasant smell now coming from this rather than an engine smell depends on the oil you're burning the minute it smells a bit like a barbecue so we'll talk about the final method then very similar to the last one although you're using a different solvent so instead of mixing diesel and the oil you're going to mix kerosene and the veg oil now this is widely available all over the world and in 
pretty much all parts of the UK that aren't connected to the gas grid. That's how people heat their homes, with that stuff. And also, because it's a lighter hydrocarbon, you can actually get a decent smell off that, it's paraffin. So it will evaporate if you leave the top off the bottle. You don't need to add as much in. So the ratio of kerosene to waste veg oil is 30%, so not 50%. So you're saving 20% of the amount of additive you need to put in. And it's the same deal, you don't get any waste product. Now, if you're the owner of sort of a Vauxhall or a BMW, Mercedes, or you're a bit of a car nut, you might know that you can already safely add a bit of kerosene into your diesel engine for winter starting, for cold temperature starts. So in my opinion, this is the perfect way to make biodiesel, mixing 30% kerosene. So at the current sort of wholesale bulk prices, methanol is about 60p a litre, and uh, kerosene it's about 26 28p up to 40p depending on how much you buy and where from so it's makes sense to just use this really you don't get any waste product and you don't have to mess about you only just have to add in a little bit more of it which doesn't really make a difference in the overall economics of it if anything it works out a little bit cheaper because you don't end up with the glycerol waste product like you do when using methanol so uh, as I've just put the 50-50 red diesel mix in the Jenny, I'll uh, knock up a little kerosene mix and I'll put it in this. Now I'll just mention I'm not a complete fool, I didn't risk the expensive Jenny straight away. I actually tested all of the different fuel mixes on my old truck here, which is uh, yeah, not much of an expense really, it's knacker anyway almost, so it was worth the risk for the potential fuel savings. And uh, lo and behold, all of them have worked no problem run many a mile in this so far on different biofuels so for 30 percent of 25 litres we need to get to 17 and a half litres so just a little bit more oil to go in and then we'll put in the kerosene so once you got your kerosene in sort of see on the outside it's self mixing a little bit you're literally gonna just want to screw the lid on same with if you're doing a 50 50 mix of diesel give it a good mix up now you can pretty much just use these straight away as I'm about to do right now but if you leave them for a day or two it gives a even better chance of the solvent effect of what you've put in there to thin the liquid out. All right, engine on. Kerosene and veg oil works. Just as a bit of proof for you all there. So there you have it, the three basic ways to make biofuel and you really can't get better than the kerosene veg oil mix cheap 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 and very very easy so there we have it three easy ways to make yourself a veg oil biodiesel or fuel mixture that's going to save you a hell of a load of money so i've done the maths on all these different biodiesels and for the methanol sort of mixture biodiesel that people usually use you're probably talking in the region of about sort of 12p a litre total cost by the time that you've actually finished doing it all but obviously it's a lot of effort to do that one whereas the other two you're talking 30p for a red diesel mix but if you're mixing kerosene and uh, veg oil you're in the region of 14p so there's barely any difference in price between doing kerosene and methanol and obviously kerosene is a lot less effort and you end up with no waste product that you've got to get rid of as well so all round kerosene is the better one to do in my opinion and also that 14p per litre cost with the kerosene mix could actually go down cheaper than the methanol mix 
when it comes to winter time and there's a lot of people buying uh, kerosene this gets more competitive on the price shall we say and especially if you're using sort of a buying pool which lots of people use in this country in their village so we have one in our village which basically everyone pulls in to buy a large tank full and then it drops it off to the various different houses you get ridiculously cheap so we might even get it down to under 10p a litre come winter so I'll make sure to do another update video on that for sure so I think I'll leave this video here then, hope it's been useful, some useful information anyway. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like below, don't forget to become a subscriber if you aren't already, and make sure you hit that bell notification so you actually get to see the video pop up in your uh, subscription feed. Until next time then, bye bye.